<laughs> well, one of the things about Earth Month and Earth Day is learning about the animals we share our planet with. The better understanding that helps us make a better world for all. And one place that helps educate people about the animals around the world and in the, and in the wild is the Creature Conservancy in Ann Arbor. And joining us now are Steve Marsh and head curator Alex Matelski, wildlife educator and Poco the Slob. <laughs> Can you believe it? Thank you guys so, so much for being here. Sure. All right. And thank you, Poco. Yeah. He's a great guy. So is this chill for Poco right now? Like, is he okay or is he nervous? He is really relaxed. He was moments ago about to fall asleep, actually. Oh, yeah. okay. Wow. So he's very chill. So he's comfortable in front of the camera. He's very comfortable. His yeah. Eyes his eyes are closing. Well, he sleeps 18 hours of the day. So oh, he wow. spends more of his Lucky life asleep Poco. than I know. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. What a, I want to take him home. I, I think he's so just beautiful and I swear when he looks at us he looks like he's really looking, looking at, us, at like us like he wants to talk with us I right. know people are Pez dispensers for him okay or, or, so or grape dispensers it's so funny. I told you I felt like I wanted to give him a hug but I don't think you know they don't yeah he doesn't need that in his personal space you're kind of solitary right. animals <laughs> so oh. what should we know about the environment that they live in well these guys are from the tropical rainforest in South America they have a lot of cool adaptations for living up in the trees they've got these great claws to hang by uh, their fur actually grows backwards oh. um, that's because they live in the rainforest and yeah, rains a lot there and that backwards fur helps channel water off of their body um, probably the coolest thing about their fur is in the wild they might actually be tinged green because plants algae grows oh, in their fur oh, so, in their fur it grows in their fur the algae the algae and it doesn't bother them it doesn't at all. bother them well wow. they're very well camouflaged a lot of people wonder why they hang out below the branch and um, it's really simple a couple of reasons they do that for but uh, he was just Alex was just feeding him grapes and he's on a grapevine so if there were grapes in this vine <gasps> Yeah, right how would, uh, yeah, we can get a little demo here of where the grapes would be. They'd be hanging down right about there. Oh, can oh, you think oh, of a better place to park to your one. face? Yeah, I think he's about to eat one. Expend oh, okay. the least amount of energy exactly. to get the food. Exactly, yeah, they're <laughs> highly adapted Aww. animals. What a, oh my gosh, he's just holding it there. <laughs> like, I will get to that in a second. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love him. He's, I ch love he's chill him. on live TV. Oh, and oh he's my like gosh. He's napping and snacking at the same time. Oh, Poco, we've <laughs> all been there. Right in that middle Yes, in that middle I love space. it. What, awesome. what, Give us a little more information about the Creative conserv uh, Conservancy. The Creature Conservancy. Creature, Creature it's a, Conservancy. It's, it is a mouthful. He's good. Um, uh, what we do is we try to, our, our mission is conservation through education, and what we like to do is give people a little bit more up-close, personal look at these animals, um, not just walk by and see the animal off in a distant enclosure, but actually have a conversation with people, yeah. tell them all the super cool things about the, those animals. So hopefully they will start to consider animals in some of their daily activities and, and, and what they're doing that might impact the natural world. Uh, so that's what our, our mission is, is to get people to like them, because if people like animals like sloths or even animals that we don't like as much, like possums, mm -hmm. uh, right. they'll take better care of the environment. That's a good way to look at it. I like that a lot. Well, and it gives us a chance to be near animals that we wouldn't normally see in our... Isn't that the you exactly. don't see sloths hanging around in Detroit. No, you, no, you don't. <laughs> Except for today. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> in studio, <laughs> yeah. for more than that. So do you have any upcoming events? Uh, we do all sorts of interesting events. We do trivia nights, which are a lot of fun. Uh, we have live animal presentations and, and questions about that. We do uh, paint nights, which are really cool. We do a presentation with an animal, and then we have an artist to show people how to paint uh, the animals. Uh, we, we do a few other things like uh, birthday parties. We have weekend presentations uh, where every month we change what we're doing presentations about. This is South America month, actually, and he's, he's working this month. Uh, but next month is Eurasia <laughs> month, and so um, the Bull work of what we do is presentations for classrooms, though. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, what are some of the other animals that you educate people about? We've got about 85 different species there. Uh, not all of them are on display at once, but we have uh, warthogs, we have ravens, we have cougars, we have alligators. Wow. Uh, the whole place was actually uh, started by an alligator that was abandoned on our doorstep. Oh. Um, and and so sometimes people get exotic animals as pets. It's usually a mistake. Work out. Yeah. yeah, it does not work out. And we have a lot of examples of does not work out oh, out I there. Bet. Yeah. Well, thank um, goodness you, you're here. I know. We, to we help try. Animals. Yeah. No. But yeah, he's an amazing animal. Well, 
No, please go ahead. Oh, we, I've been doing programs with him for actually 33 years. What? It's one of the reasons why he's oh, falling asleep no hearing me talk for 33 old. years. <laughs> wow, so he's at least 33 years old? At least 33 years old, yeah. Wow. How yeah. long would a sloth live? Uh, the longest known in captivity was 54 years, wow. Um, wow. but that was a wild caught animal, so we don't know the starting point okay. uh, of that animal. So these guys do everything slow and they live a long time, nice he's, relaxed life. He's eating that grape slow too. I know, he's just sure. hanging out there the whole time. He's yeah. like, I will get back. You guys are making him feel great. He's just snoozing. It's yeah. like, uh -huh. I'm glad he's enjoying it because we're so happy that Poco joined us. And of course, the both of you as well. Thank you guys so much for being here. You're very welcome. Yeah, to see more of all the things happening in and around the Ann Arbor area, visit allaboutannarbor.com, which is made possible by these sponsors. Ooh, Poco.